What's up guys, Mystic Games back again and we've got a developer update finally from the devs reacting to the PTB changes. I have not seen a single thing in this. Uh, it's just released and um, I'm going to go through it with you guys. I'm kind of excited and also a little bit scared, but um, it is what it is. Uh, before we get into that though, just don't forget guys that I am streaming on Twitch right now live Link is in the description. I think I'm playing Dead Space tonight. Um, I'll, I'll see how all this pans out. Well, come join me. Come chat about it. I'd love to have you. Let's get into it. Uh, healing, possibly the hottest topic since it was announced. The PTB raised the base healing time to 24 seconds. It was a great idea, that. From the usual 16 seconds. Some tweaks were made to medkits with this in mind. Changing such a fundamental part of the game is a very touchy subject. Yep. So we kept an extra close eye on the change to see how it would play out. After reviewing player feedback, we found that many of you, many of you agreed that the speed which you hear others was already in a good spot prior to the update. 100% altruistic healing was fine. This change also had a knock-on effects elsewhere in the game, making effects like mangled and hemorrhage stronger and making slugging, leaving survivors in the dying state, even more effective. 100%. Therefore, we have reverted the base healing time to 16 seconds. Nice one. Good. Feedback's going good so far. On the other hand, we found there was a lot of support for tuning down medkits. There is. Medkits allowed survivors to heal themselves multiple times whenever it was convenient to them, leaving their teammates free to work on generators while they do so. So we have decided to shift our focus to medkits. Good. Oh, with a series of changes. First and foremost, all med kits have a total of 24 charges, same as the PTB. Second, we've increased the healing speed bonus when healing others across all med kits. Good. The new bonus is as follows. Camping 35, first aid kit 40, emergency 45, and ranger by 50. Nice. Nice. Third, all med kits will now have a 33% speed and efficiency penalty when using for self-heal. Nice. Okay. Uh, this will reduce the number of times medkits can be used to heal yourself and make it take longer to do so. This means that a medkit will by default grant one self-heal over the span of 24 seconds uh, before factoring in add-ons. Wow. Okay. Sexy. I like this, man. This is really good so far. Combine these changes will decrease the power of medkits when used for self-healing, but increase their power when used for healing teammates in return. We all know you'll probably continue using them for self-heals, but at least the choice is there. 100%. Exactly. Yeah, well said. Last but not least, in light of the tweaks above, we've made some adjustments to various medkit add-ons. Uh, butterfly tape increases healing speed by 5% was 3%. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, okay. I'll go through all this another time, but you guys can see it on the screen. You guys can read it yourselves. Um, oh, what was... Um, Syringe, with this, uh, uh, while this add-on is unchanged, please note that its healing speed will be reduced by the medkit self-healing. Okay, cool. So anti henorrhage you can still use an insta-heal, basically. Is that right? Hmm, okay. I'll uh, I'll read the comments for that one. I could be wrong. The hillbilly. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Let's see what they have to say about it, eh? Come on, this is going to be funny. On the PTB, we tested out some changes for the hill... No, you didn't. <laughs> for the hillbilly. Both toning down the overheat mechanic and adjusting two of his top performing add-ons. <laughs> Who cares, mate? <laughs> While the overheat mechanic felt less oppressive, many of the raised concerns with the changes to the engraving add-ons reminded us that these add-ons allowed the hillbilly's power to be used in more situations. This overshadowed the overheat adjustments and made the whole package feel like a downgrade. Uh, for the release, we have reverted the changes to the death engravings and doom engravings add-ons. We have kept the tweaks to the overheat mechanic to make it less limiting than before, making the hillbilly feel better to play. So just, so just leaving him alone. Good stuff. Well done. You've reverted everything pretty much so far. This is kind of interesting and a little bit funny. Perks. I'm not going to get into all the, the stuff they go on about themselves with. Let's just get into the meat and potatoes of it. Dead Art. 
Since reducing the endurance effect any further would make Dead Heart too finicky to use, agreed. We instead opted to limit the number of times it could be used, reacquiring a safe unhook to activate the perk. While this had the intended result of limiting the number of times it appeared in the match and prevented it from being used in the first chase of the match, some of you pointed out this new design indirectly encouraged the killer to chase the unhook survivor. Exactly what I said. Exactly what I said, spot on. This makes a lot of sense. The unhooker may have activated their dead hard, but you can be sure that the unhook survivor does not have it. Yeah, you've just like given us a clear cut choice. Do we go for the person on the hook? Absolutely. Makes sense. For the uh, updates release, we have changed dead hard to instead activate when you are unhooked or unhook yourself. This way, the unhook survivor becomes less of a clear target for the kill. You've just opposited it. That's brilliant. It is literally an anti-tunneling perk now. That... That is very good. Like, not in an OP way. It's just good. Like, it is a really super healthy change. Look at you go. Look what happens. Look at this. To be fair, they listen to the community. <laughs> but still, I'm... I'm so impressed with that. Moving along. that That's... Jesus Christ. You guys have just... That's really nice. You... Wow. It's often not that I'm speechless when it comes to behavior. Score talk pain resonance. Uh, considering score took pain resonance can now only activate four times in a match and requires the killer to target different survivors, we feel comfortable making it more rewarding for killers who choose to take on the added challenge. Yeah, that's not what the issue was. Therefore, we have increased the regression amount of score took pain resonance to 15, 20, 25. Okay. Wow. I said 25 in my video as a recommendation was 11, 13, 15. We hope, Jesus Christ, I'm going to go and watch my video back after this. They've really listened to a lot of us. We hope that those who choose not to chase the unhook survivor will find the perk much more rewarding. Sexy, brilliant. 10 out of 10. Well done. Boon, circle of healing. Um, since the perk no longer grants the self-heal ability, circle of healing found itself in an awkward spot. 100% with solo anyway. The altruistic heal speed bonus was nice, but when you crunch the numbers, Circle of Healing rarely proved provided any benefit. A 50% healing bonus would only shave roughly 5 seconds off a heal, but it's easy to spend that much time running over to the Boon's area of effect, and that doesn't even begin to factor in the time it takes to set up. Exactly, yeah. With this in mind, we've increased the healing speed bonus of Circle of Healing to 100%. Max rank was 50. Spot on. I think that's perfect. I, I didn't have any recommendations for Boon Circle of Healing, but I felt like it was a little bit on the weak side with what they did. Increasing it two times to 100%, I think it's perfect. I think it's fine. Absolutely brilliant. While this won't make setting up or running the Boon an optimal choice in every situation, we expect this to make it more impactful, to make it more impactful if the Boon is nearby. I agree. I love it. I think it's great. And I guess because there's no more perk changes that they're leaving... Paula Brian and what else was there? Call of Brian and Overcharge. They're still keeping the nerfs to that. Damn. So people did say that the, I bet they leave the um I bet they leave the killer nerfs. It's a bit of a shame that. I would have liked to have um had behavior sort of prove otherwise. Damn. Okay. Last but not least, we managed to sneak one or more changes into Auto Haven Wreckers map updates. A while back, we added saying, yeah, we know, we know. What did you do? One of these new tiles, which featured a window and a pallet, ended up being fairly unsafe. We rebalanced this tile. Okay, cool. So they're just making further additional changes. I'm not going to get into it. Um, yeah. Overall, though, I'm pretty damn happy. I just wish we, we saw things on both sides a little bit more. Um, while I'm happy that Dead Hard and Boon Circle of Healing have been adjusted and score took pain absolutely to 25%. That's actually what I recommended, but... The fact that Call of Brian and um, Overcharge have been knocked down. Well, I, mean, I didn't mention it, so I'm assuming it's been knocked down. Bit of a shame, that. I would have kept it on more of an even keel, but um, anyway. Yes, it is what it is.
But anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you did enjoy. Let us know your opinions down below, comments, all that stuff. You guys know I read them. Sorry for smacking my mic. Hope you guys have an amazing night. Hope to see you in the stream, and I'll see you in the next one. See you later.